In this tutorial we will be discussing about how to render your final movie. Now how do we render it? Simple, go to file, then export, and select movie or control M. Here in this window you have a output path to where you want the movie to render at. Here we have three buttons in export, such as movie, image sequence, or sound, which is the audio only. Over here, we have format, mp4, mov, or avi. But let's say you don't have the extra formats you wanted. Source Filmmaker only supports QuickTime for better formats. How do we get QuickTime? Simple, go to Google and type in QuickTime. Here is the download button for support Apple. Click on the first one to download. Then hit download. Once you've get this window pop up, click next. Then hit yes. Click on typical. Then you can leave the browser as it is, or you can change it if you have a backup hard drive. Then hit install. Now go back to Source Filmmaker. Then go to File, Export, Movie. Then go to Format to see the results. Over here in Resolution, you can change the ratio of the screen. If you want more options for your video, go to More Options. Here in Render Settings, you can change the depth of field and motion blur. Draw in titles if you want to check some things to your movies. And layoff settings is where you can add shutter speed, 3D stereoscopic and change the frame rate. Once you're done with the settings render it. Depending on how powerful your computer is, it may take some time to finish its process. Let's say I want a 1080p video to render, how do I do that? I'm using KDEN Live as my free video editing software for my video. Drag and drop your video to the project bin. Then drag that out into the timeline. Go to Project, then Render. Change the output file to video. Then go to Generic, and then MP4. Now click on More Options. Enable Rescale, then change it to 1920 by 1080. Then check Custom Quality and set it way up high. Then hit Render to File. Now we have a rendered SFM video. Hopefully it was worth the wait to learn some of the basics of this course. As a bonus, I will make a next tutorial video for tips and tricks to improve more of your SFM movies. And as always, I will see you next time.